We've already showed you how the compulsories pretty much decided the ladies' competition. Over on the men's side, what the compulsories and the judges did was take an awesome field and turn it into two men. No, I take that back. They took the rest of them out and created a two-man war for the gold. The Cold War may be over, but somebody forgot to tell Victor Petrenko. Canada is one of the friendliest countries in the world, but Kurt Browning doesn't care. The USA usually wins the wars, but not this one. Christopher Bowman's short program was sensational, but it fell short. And so it came down to two. And it was almost a battle of confidence. As Browning was finishing a near-perfect short program, Petrenko was standing in the wings. And while he was preparing to go out on the ice, the vibes he was getting from the Canadian crowd and Kurt Browning was, follow that act, buddy. And so he did. Did we say it was a battle of confidence? Let's go back a moment. A year ago, Petrenko was so favored, it was like throwing caution to the wind. But at the Paris Worlds, he was out of it early in the short program leaving the door open for the Americans to go ahead one more time. And after a surprising show of brilliance from Browning, Petrenko didn't even show. A year ago, when we visited Victor in his hometown of Odessa on the Black Sea in the Soviet Union, we discovered that he was quite the rebel. Thing, he trains far away from the mecca of skating, Moscow. Here in Odessa, he's a rebel with a cause. In fact, he was driving down that road to success. But the hammer and sickle was taken out by a maple leaf. Canada's Kurt Browning got the gold and a year's worth of sensational photo opportunity. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster. It's been up, it's been down. Um, the beginning the beginning was, of course, really exciting. Um, with the new title came a lot of new opportunities. But when you live your life inside a fishbowl, not only can everybody look in, they have the advantage because on the other side of the glass, you can't drown. I started feeling that because I'd won this one competition that I was not allowed to make any more mistakes. Um, making mistakes is Kurt's style. I, I'm positive I fall down more than any other world champion has ever been. I train a lot for fun and I try things for fun sometimes and um, falling never bothered me before. All of a sudden it was. In fact, the world champion took a world-class fall and coming into this world, he'd gone from first to third suddenly he was not only losing the battles, but the entire war. Now the Russians think that they can win, now the Americans think that they can win. Um, if I'd have cleaned up every competition I stepped on the ice, then all those guys would have been floating into Halifax going, well, all the pressure's on Kurt, I've got no pressure. If I don't win, Kurt was expected to win anyways. But now all of them have a chance. So now I've shared my pressure with everybody. How's that for positive thinking? Well, when you fall off the horse, you get back on. I have a really good chance of skating good in Halifax, 
and I don't think that this whole thing is worth it. It's not worth losing your own identity. It's not worth stressing yourself out over because that's not what gets productivity. So I'm going to go into Halifax happy, and I bet you I'm going to skate great. Kurt Browning has already had a terrific performance this week in both the compulsory figures and the original program. But if he's to win, he must outskate Viktor Petrenko of the Soviet Union. Petrenko, Browning, and Bowman, they're next. Competitor representing the Soviet Union, the Union Soviet Union. From Odessa in the Soviet Union, currently in first place after a superb original program. 20-year-old Viktor Petrenko.